Hey guys, uh, it's me again and we're in front of this Sherman tank. This is the M4A2A8 or EC8 Sherman tank. This is the latest uh, Sherman variant that was produced during the war. And as you will notice here, this tank is armed with this 76.2mm uh, main gun. It's a, a bit uh, bigger than the previous uh, Sherman variants. So you'll notice here that the hull of this uh, tank is welded as opposed to the cast that was used in the earlier Sherman. Now you'll notice also that uh, the steel plate was welded to the main hull of this tank and it is inclined. The reason for the inclination is to maximize the protection of the crew inside the tank because once you incline the armor, you are going to increase the effective thickness of uh, the armor. Just in case a projectile is going to go this way, so instead of just uh, encountering about 3 inches of uh, armor thickness, it's going to go, go against this one so the armor thickness is going to increase which uh, increase the protection of the crew inside this tank so the purpose of this video right now is uh, for us to measure do an, do an actual measurement on the inclined angle of this uh, armor with respect to the horizontal so you'll notice here that's 43.2 degrees. This is the actual measurement. So now we are not relying on books or uh, the internet to know the angle. This is the actual measurement. So if I re remove this one, put it over here. So it's uh, the reference is solid zeroed with respect to the horizontal. So I'm, if I'm going to tell this one, the angle will increase. So it's zero. So we know that this is accurate. So we're going to play with it to make sure that it's uh, fully calibrated. There you go. Okay, so now the next thing we need to do is to measure the thickness of the steel plate that was welded to this uh, to the main hull of this tank. We're going to use uh, burner caliper to be more accurate. And right now, you have to make sure that uh, it's a zero re reference. So we'll be using the metric system so we're going to measure up to this point and you will notice it's about uh, 70.8 uh, millimeter that's the metric system now if we convert it to the imperial system it's about 2.78 inch thick. So 2.78 inch or about 70.8 millimeter. Okay, question why did uh, why is it that I did not use this one? You will see there's there's a line, almost a straight line along this point. But the thing is, this is uh, you will notice this is a uh, welding ridge. So what happened is uh, the welding ridge obscure obscured the exact uh, end of this steel plate. But of course, 
it is safe to assume that we know we need to uh, measure halfway across this uh, welding ridge so pretty much the the, the other edge of this uh, steel pit should be over here in the middle that's why for this uh, that's the reason why we have to measure across this midway across this uh, welding ridge okay now that we know that the angle is about 43.3 degrees and the thickness of the steel plate is about 70.8 millimeter or 2.79 inch or roughly 2.8 inch we can use this number to to determine the effective uh, thickness of this uh, the plate with respect to the horizontal because what happens is if a projectile is going to hit the surface it's going to encounter this this much thickness instead of just this one it's going to encounter this thickness so the inclined angle of this uh, armor is going to increase the effective thickness of this uh, steel plate that uh, makes the crew inside this tank a bit safer. 